Good morning, babies. Hi, how are you? Good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you find this message, it is the right time. Okay, hi. Hi, cuties. Hi, sugar butts. I saw that I missed that yesterday, so hi, sugar butts. <laughs> hi, pickles. Hi, cuties. Hi. This is a general message, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Whenever you find it, it is the right time. Um, because it is timeless. And uh, use your own intuition. Please and thank you. Use your own discernment. Okay, let's get into it. Also, I will not reach out to you for personal readings. I am not doing them. Please report that person. Okay, love you. <laughs> so, um, this morning I woke up and I felt the intent to do a past life reading. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. And then <laughs> the first song that came on shuffle um, was Alone in a Room by Asking Alexandria. And then um, Remember Everything by Five Finger Death Punch. And then now we have um, Black Honey by Thrice. So the other ones were just kind of telling me um, that it is like, it's a confirmation that it is, you know, past life stuff. And what I'm getting is you are like really remembering a lot from your past lives. You're really channeling a lot of that because of um, the work you've done on yourself and you're sharpening your intuitive skills and, you know, you're meditating, you're doing, you're working on your spiritual practice. You're doing the work you're to undo like limiting beliefs and stuff. So you've been able to really channel and remember a lot from your past lives. This, I almost said this year. <laughs> so that may have been this year that um, it's like really been amplified. But I meant to say this, uh, I almost said this year again. What the hell? <laughs> this lifetime. Um, so definitely this year. And if you haven't like, that is very interesting. So, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, so this year, for sure, you've really tapped into remembering a lot of what your past lives were. Um, so let's get into it. Let's see what happens, all right? I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I keep swinging my hand through. This is Black Honey by Thrice. I'm not going to really do the other songs, but... I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees Cause I want honey on my table I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees Cause I want honey on my table But I never get it right No, I never get it right I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees I can't understand why they're stinging me But I'll do what I want I'll do what I please I'll do it again till I've got what I need. I'll rip and smash through the hornet's nest. Do you understand I deserve the best? And I'll do what I want. I'll do what I please. I'll do it again till I get what I need. I try to stick this pin through a butterfly because I like all the pretty colors. But it just fell apart, so I flung it in the fire to burn with all the others. Cause I never get it right. No, I never get it right. I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees. I can't understand why they're stinging me. God, let it be this time I get it right. Yo, that's what it is, bitch. This time, like, okay, so there's been something you've been repeating over and over again. And this li this lifetime, you're getting it right. You're undoing it. It's like the um, this karmic cycle of like you know, hurting your hurting others and hurting yourself. Um, that's like coming undone. There there was another message that I had. I don't remember the video, but I remember getting a download that like all of your um, all the bullshit you went through, you paid up all your karmic debt with that. Like with all the cr all the crazy shit you've been through. Like this lifetime you you paid it off because you learned your lesson you um 
you instead of like blaming others you were like okay how can i make my life different like how can i not make this shit happen anymore there's got to be something and so that like shifted it your i just got goosebumps all over my body that just shifted your this whole momentum of everything into you know if that was you choosing a different timeline where you paid up your karmic debt because you're actually doing like the self inquiry you're doing the um instead of playing that victim role and like it's everybody else's fault blah 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 whatever you're like okay what am i doing to cause this why is this happening to me what the hell <laughs> and in doing so this has helped you pay off all your karmic debt you paid up you know you're you're debt free baby and <clears throat> so god let it be this time i get it right so i'm cutting the branch off the cherry tree singing this will be my victory then see them coming after me and then i see them coming after me and they're following me across the sea and now they're stinging my friends and family and i i don't know why this is happening but i'll do what i want i'll do what i please i'll do it again till i got what i need I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees because I want honey on my table. Interesting. I'll start shuffling the card and we'll see what we got. But uh, one thing that this card did fall out when I was shuffling this deck is grounding. Go deep, explore your roots. So that was just like confirmation and it's just interesting that this person is underneath the tree and we're talking about <laughs> the song is talking about uh bees and hornets and stuff so um but we'll see we'll see what what we get here and now they're following me across the sea and now they're stinging my friends and family mm. So I'm getting some people in a past life, um, and this doesn't have to be like the last one, you know, N nothing's really linear anyway, but um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be the most recent, you know, that type of thing, but um, with that, with their, now they're following me across the sea, and now they're stinging my friends and family. There may have been some like people that you ran from um, I'm honestly getting like there was like a gamble or a bet or some sort of money thing that couldn't be paid up or I'm almost I'm not saying that like you were like being fully unsavory but I'm also seeing like maybe you trust went to a loan broker or whatever a loan shark <laughs> and um you wanted to start a business or something and suddenly you know like that went to shit <coughs> but this person um was one like you didn't know this person was a bad or had ill intent and so you know you were business or whatever went to shit you never made any money back and so this person came after you and they started coming after your family and that type of stuff so that's that's one thing i'm getting so if that's something similar has happened to you or i mean obviously it doesn't have to be as dramatic but you know it could be you were audited for taxes or something um and it, you know, affected your whole family. I'm also getting maybe, ooh, ooh, okay. So if someone passed away in your family, um, and they had like a bunch of debt and a bunch of stuff that had to be like paid up and, you know, there was like people coming after and really, you know, and so, like in bad taste, you know, like the at the funeral, they're showing up and they're like, yeah, so we need our money. So like that type of thing. Um, and I'm not seeing it like it could be 
also just your family that you're around your your soul family it doesn't have to be it happened to you exactly but that stuff happened in a past life <coughs> and that's like what transpired for you in this life is like how it, how it was handled this time yeah you may have lost money in that or you know whoever passed away like you had to a bunch of people came after you just had to give them whatever you had that type of thing or uh there was like some legal issues where um say someone passed away and they didn't get the will in order or it was old or you know something of the sort and uh you weren't able to access the money no one was able to in the family so it just like went to like the government you know the state or something um that the, whatever that happened that was like paying up on karmic debt it is as much as it sucks because you know that puts you in a financial bind because you know you had to pay for the funeral yourself you know whatever or your family did I'm seeing it. It doesn't have to be a you specifically like in, someone in your family or in your like a close-knit group or whoever you consider family it happened to this was all like part of paying that karmic debt and how it like affected you um, <clears throat> All right, so what else we got here? <laughs> Keep swinging my head through a swirl of these Hmm. I'm gonna get an oracle on that. Um, I'm seeing I have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Wands upright. And what I'm getting here is I'm starting to see anyway. There was like a connection in the past with the, like, because I'm seeing the two birds here um, flying around and doing their thing. It's like they're building their home. And homie is like, the way that fell is like, dude is like looking at them all, all intense. Like, see how he's like intently looking. Um, there was someone that. Oh, so, okay, that might have been, like, a, some sort of curse thing with that they put on you when it comes to, like, um, ha a home, a happy home. I'm getting, like, home. Um, and, like, energy in your home, because I'm, like, you know, the Ace of Cups in reverse is, like, all the water's pouring out. All this, like, good energy, emotions, feelings, that's all, like, coming out, and it's, um, or you're, like, being depleted. I kind of see that also as like an energy vampire when it's like in reverse like draining you like you're not putting the energy to yourself like you should so it, everything's depleting you so there may have been some homey and i'm definitely it's very ancient because we have this the uh, pyramids back here <clears throat> Yeah, so, like, this person just, and especially because it's, like, a younger person, this person just, like, had some, like, I'm serious, something, like, a lot of envy, <laughs> like, to an extreme, because this Knight of Wands can be very, like, you know, it's, like, the, that teenager energy, that, like, flighty early 20s teenager energy, like, you know, making these decisions on a whim, uh, especially with the Wands, it's that fiery, like, having a temper and, you know, following it. <laughs> um ooh, okay yeah some somebody definitely spoke some stuff on you may have even lied to a person or like someone in your family or uh got them arrested to where like it, it caused this like curse or like problem cycle where you have like a disruptive home especially because i was seeing here the little salamander on his throat chakra <clears throat> and my throat getting a little funky. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, my throat was fine until I started talking about that. All right. Mm. So, um, to where you couldn't feel like your voice, something accord where you couldn't 
speak at home your family like you couldn't voice your opinions like something was placed upon you done to you that caused you to not be able to see like speak your voice at home so it caused disruption in your home life your family <coughs> love just you know closeness having a good community around you this jealous and i'm kind of almost getting like a drifter through town may have um either had the hots for the, your partner or you or um you know if you were like the children of the parents and that were like it was somebody that had like the hots for somebody but were jealous and like didn't like seeing that they were in a happy home so they're like well how can i turn this into a shitty in situation so i can get what i want i want to break it up because i want that Ooh, that's what the fucking Ooh, okay okay yeah because you know like so this person okay and it's all coming together now <sighs> I love when that happens. <laughs> so like the song, I get what I want. Um, so, you know, the willingness to break up someone's uh, family, home life, to get what they want because they saw either one, it was money, or two, love, you know, whatever resonates. And I could honestly be just, I'm, I'm tapping into different timelines right now, lifetimes to where, you know, it was several different things. Like I want what I want, or, you know, it was a woman that, wanted the money and all of that um i'm definitely getting like some like lives were ended over this like because of uh, how just intense homies looking um just super stalker <laughs> just like i want it and i'm going to get it i don't care if it's careless or reckless i'm going to get it <clears throat> and we have the queen of um swords in reverse so that's like definite like cutting a lying um, just harsh words. Oh my god, and there's a butterfly on there. How perfect. Talking about, you know, putting the pin through the butterfly and then throwing it into the fire because it's ruined. So, <laughs> then this person got what they wanted after they completely destroyed this whole, um, connection. And also, like, <laughs> this could have been you in a past life. Like, you may have been a little karmic little shit, okay? <laughs> don't, don't, like, like, we've all, we're evolving every time, right? So, like, th this also might have been something you did and, like, why things have happened to, like, so you could, like, pay up the karmic debt, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or trigger you. Stay open and curious, because that might be, like, it might make sense to be like, oh, Ah, I had to pay that off. Okay. <laughs> yes. I mean, because you have no control over your past life. Like, it, we're all evolving. We're, we're all getting better. So. <laughs> um, but take it how it resonates, obviously. Yeah, okay. Also, I'm getting... So there was a masculine and a masculine and the dude came into town <clears throat> and remember you could have been men in past lives. You, you could have been a different gender in past lives. Like, um, that changes. <clears throat> it changes up. So I'm getting a man and a man. And, uh, so this dude, cause I'm seeing this chick is like really attractive. She's got like big brown eyes, you know, just like, um, Get, um, what is it, Selma Hayek kind of vibes, like really just like sensual and you know, beautiful, smart, that type of thing. And so, this person was like jealous that another man had her. Oh, I'm getting that song, um, El Paso by Marty Robbins. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so someone was jealous. Let me finish typing so I can <laughs> spell right there we go okay out in the west Texas town of El Paso I fell in love with the Mexican girl nighttime would find me in Rosa's cantina music would play and Felina would whirl blacker than night were the eyes of Felina <laughs> Wicked and evil while casting a spell. 
My love was deep for this Mexican maiden. I was in love and in vain, I could tell. I challenged, oh, one night a wild young cowboy. Yo, <laughs> what I say? A wild young cowboy came in, wild as the West Texas wind, dashing and daring a drink he was sharing with wicked Felina, the girl that I loved. Yo, check it, check it, they're fucking, yo. I love when that shit happens. Mm. <laughs> um, so in anger, I challenged his right for the love of his maiden. Down went his hand for the gun that he wore. My challenge was answered in less than a heartbeat. The handsome young stranger lay dead on the floor. Just for a moment, I stood there in silence, shocked by the foul, evil dead deed I had done. Many thoughts raced through my mind as I stood there. I had but one chance, and that was to run. Out through the back door of Rosas I ran, out where the horses were tied. I caught a good one. Oh, wait, I might be messing this up, my bad. <laughs> I caught a good one. It looked like it could run up on its back in a way I did ride. Just as fast as I could from West Texas town of El Paso out to the badlands of New Mexico. Gang, gang. <laughs> back in El Paso, my life would be worthless. Everything done in life. Nothing is left. It's been so long since I've seen the young maiden. My love is stronger than my fear of death. I saddled up and away I did go, riding alone in the dark. Maybe tomorrow a bullet may find me. Tonight, nothing's worse than the pain in my heart. So yeah, definitely like somebody got in and like tried to like break up like a happy family. Be like, yo, I, I like that woman. I want that woman right there. <laughs> so there was like this, um, I don't know, I just like that song. But <laughs> this intense like showdown, and like I said earlier, like there may have been a death involved. <clears throat> and you know, there was that aching, that constant like sorrow. And this crazy person, this young cowboy riding into town, the stranger riding on his horse um, and seeing, you know, Felina. <laughs> your woman <laughs> you know or you were the woman whatever um and when you were we're a happy family but you know came in and with some manipulation um whether it was magic or energy or just like they had money uh, you know like i said earlier it was like a loan shark or something of the sort like there's something you know especially if it was like that you know that young drifter cowboy thing they had you know they were a robber um that type of thing Ooh, yeah, especially with the king of coins here in reverse, they were definitely like someone that was um, more about the money. They were flashy. They were, f um, I always see this because he's got like a sick ass like um, watch in his hand. I don't know. He's just like got rings or no, he doesn't have rings. I just assume he does. He just got, has that. <laughs> I'm like seeing the, um, like the really, um, well-dressed, like Italian guy with like the chest hair showing, like he's got a couple buttons open and he's got like, you know, the really nice chains and rings. Like I'm seeing that, like he smells good, you know, just very flashy kind of gaudy stuff. I'm seeing that, you know, this guy may have been a robber or, you know, they, they had their money some way in some sort of um, unsavory way that they got it and they were very flashy. So they pulled this person in, whether it was, you know, you, you know, tell you how it resonates. And so you were like, oh, <laughs> wow, I've never seen a diamond before. I've never seen that much gold before, you know, just showing off and being like, I want that woman. <laughs> She's got big brown eyes and I'm, I want that woman. <laughs> so they, um, 
you know, there's like food on here. The like they were showing old girl a good time, and and didn't have you know past times where there were some really low vibe times and there were some really high vibe times depending on how far we go back. <coughs> So in this time, it was a very low vibe time. The woman was easily like, whoa, I've never seen, you know, maybe you were the masculine in the relationship was a humble, I don't know, shoemaker. I don't fucking know, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know, a, a carpenter or something. And, you know, there wasn't a lot of money, but, it, you know, kept food on the table, that type of thing. Um, or they had to travel for work. They worked on the railroad, something of the sort, uh, whatever, whenever that was, whenever past life. <coughs> I've never seen that much gold in person before. So like, you know, it was a humble life. Maybe she was like very sheltered or something. And so she was like, whoa, caught up like, oh, wow, I'll give you some attention. Wow, we, you're, this is fun, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, because the masculine or whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and say you, but, you know, take it how it resonates. Because you were like, yo, that's my woman. Hell no. And you're like, you know, working class, whatever. Um, you're very skilled with your hands, with your body. Um, you took them out, you know, ended them. But because of that, that split up the home. Or maybe it was vice versa, homie ended you and got the chick and that was forever like discord or just simply kidnap the girl you know whatever um and so there's always been since then and that might be some like fear and what's kept you away from like healthy happy relationships is like that might be another like added to it added like past like trauma is whoa like you know I had such a happy home I was working my ass off like things were great things were looking forward look like looking up you know maybe she was pregnant or like you were going to have like kid you know you were gonna have family together like you were, like there was a lot of planning like it was a brand new relationship it was happy whatever and it was ripped from you like it, it was meant to be like this amazing relationship and it was just yanked from you I forgot, I, I need to take my electrolyte pills here. <laughs> I'm popping bars on the... <laughs> um. <laughs> and so with that, <clears throat> there's like this added trauma, like if you get into a relationship now, okay, that's why it's all making sense here. This is why. So like if you're getting into like a new relationship or... You know all the stuff you've been through this lifetime and there's also this like trauma that needs to be undone this lifetime from all of those like you know this crazy you know suave cool drifter mysterious guy coming in and taking your chick um ruining your home life you're ruining your family because and to mind you you may have been the person in a different lifetime that was can't come you know drifted into town and took somebody um so like you know it, it, we all play different roles in every lifetime so it's just something to be mindful of of like damn so maybe like that's why that happened to you because it was like the next lifetime you had a happy relationship and the drifter came into town and took it from you because you had done that in a past life or you know like we've all been karmic okay and probably worse in some past lives. Interesting. So I just accidentally like closed out of my uh, screen and looked at my background and I have like one of those rotating backgrounds where it just like, there's like a million pictures that it shuffles through and it was uh, zebras. So, you know, you have dark and light within you and you have the ability to be a karmic, you have the ability to be a light worker, you know, you have the ability to work with the light or dark. But with the song, you know, <clears throat> I keep swinging my hand through a storm of bee swarm of bees. I can't understand why they're stinging me, but I'll do what I want. I'll do what I please. I'll do it again till I got what I need. So that was meant to um, help you undo and work through any of that um, 
karma but with that happening but since that was such a traumatic thing <clears throat> And I'm also getting with that throat stuff, like, you felt that you couldn't speak, you couldn't, there was nothing you could say, nothing you could do that could keep them, could keep old Felina, you know? Um, okay, so what I'm getting here is you've played that role, the different role in every lifetime, so you played the, the woman that was pulled away you've played the person hard-working man i'm a hard-working man um you played the the hard-working husband or whatever that um like messed up <laughs> essentially and like may have ended the homie or you know uh just had no like power and old girl leaving you and you've also played the role of the handsome young cowboy that came in to take the woman <laughs> obviously it doesn't have to be in cowboy times but i'm just you know we're we're going with the song it could have been i'm seeing with the uh pyramids that were you know could have been in egyptian times that type of thing like it, it could have been any lifetime even further than you could even fathom and so um you played that role but maybe the last time you were played where it was the person that was pulled from you in your home life your happy home this promising new great thing that was meant to happen it was pulled from you so in this lifetime when you're moving into like this actual like happiness oh like things are looking good i'm about to buy a house i'm about to do this like anything you dream of like not saying that you have to there's nothing wrong with just like living in an rv like i would <laughs> i just like i don't know i do both I, I would try both but what i'm saying is like living your happiest life living everything you've dreamed of damn dust um having it and then there's this like creeping fear of like oh god what if it gets pulled away from you because like there's the, not only what has happened to you in this lifetime but this crazy ass shit that happened in your past life as well. <clears throat> Let's shuffle and see what happens. But what I'm getting is like you paid because you chose instead of playing the victim, like maybe in this lifetime where you were old boy and having to run, like you played the victim or you didn't even get to like clear or think about anything. Um, to ch like change because your life ended so shortly after because with this song at last here i'm on the hill overlooking el paso i can see rosa's cantina below my love is strong and it pushes me onward down on the hill to felina i go off to the right i see five mounted cowboys off to the left ride a dozen or more shouting and shooting i can let them i can't let them catch me i have to make it to rosa's back door something is dreadfully wrong for i feel a deep burning pain in my side <laughs> though i am trying to stay in my saddle i'm getting weary unable to ride but my love for felina is strong and i rise where i've fallen Though I am wary, I can't stop to rest. I see the white puff of smoke from the rifle. I feel the bullet go deep in my chest. From out of nowhere, Felina has found me, kissing my cheek as she kneels by my side, cradled by two loving arms that I'll die for. One little kiss and Felina goodbye. Um, <clears throat> so like you and me have like not even had a chance to like redeem yourself redeem yourself this that lifetime and you know be like okay why am i the victim why did that happen to me how can i be better you know this the stuff you're asking yourself this lifetime the stuff you've been asking yourself and i keep getting this year so <coughs> i have 444 four, four on the clock confirmation you really stepped into your angelic earth angel you know just pureness you you're undoing all this karmic bullshit you're not being that person anymore you're not working with the dark anymore you're not allowing that to smother you and you're definitely you know you're not playing this victim you're doing the work you're being like okay how can i make my life better and doing the self-inquiry you didn't have that opportunity in that lifetime because 
you like die right away. So that trauma was never like sorted out. And so it stayed with you and you know, it's caused like fear and choices and you know, like I'm seeing with this magician, you may have like sabotaged relationships. Like you had a good one and then you like kept your distance, played games, that type of thing. Um, or, you know, just ended it before it could even get go anywhere, even though like you felt something because that trauma was so embedded in you and that, that you were operating out of that. Like, oh, well, what if they get pulled away from me or, you know, they find someone that's like got more money and that also might be where your insecurities come from around money or like you need to dress a certain way. Oh, I need to be like to attract a partner or you know get a job or whatever i need to be like on gang like on par with my clothes i need to look rich and you know all this stuff there's nothing wrong with that but that's like where that insecurity is coming from like oh i won't, i may not get it if i if i do that yeah okay <clears throat> Uh, and the this magician which i've never noticed has one skeleton hand and one real hand like a fleshy hand i should say so um the, the, like part of that like that um like fear of like intimacy and like true deep connection goes way back because you like there was a death involved like that to where it it scares you to death and so like you act out of um these like you need security you need you may have chosen people to settle with essentially that you know you're better than them because you knew that they wouldn't leave you or that you know there was some like hierarchy some sort of <clears throat> Or it's like you choose someone you're not fully like invested in because you knew that you could walk away. There wouldn't be, you'd be like, well, shit, fuck it. <laughs> like, they're lost. Like you knew, cause that, <laughs> instead of choosing someone on your level, you always choose off because <clears throat> it's easy to feel in control and safe with that four of pentacles and secure like oh i can settle with this because i can be in control and i know i'm better like it, it, you weren't thinking that it was just so deeply subconscious um you know that ego can be a little tricky sometimes and <laughs> keeping you safe so that's kept you from choosing someone that's like a really good partner someone that would be like on your level emotionally physically all of that like i'm getting like a lot of you like chose people that you like you're more attractive like this sounds really fucked up but like <laughs> whatever i'm gonna go ahead and say it y'all can hate me for it i don't care but like someone that doesn't like match your attractiveness like you <laughs> god <laughs> oh my god like and i'm not saying like people are ugly or anything of the sort but like their energy makes them that way if you know what i'm getting like whatever is inside of you projects into your makes creates your body essentially so you're picking these people that like just aren't attractive that aren't good for you that and you know that you're like it was a subconscious thing but it it's like well i know it, it's an obvious difference an obvious like contrast that there's no guessing like oh am i good enough for this person like it, it, it was like ch you choosing someone that you weren't good enough like you were way too good for <clears throat> I'm trying to choose my words wisely because I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> I'm taking my electrolyte pills, okay? There's nothing on here. <laughs> I just didn't want to forget since I'm drinking coffee again. <laughs> oh my god bitch what the fuck was i talking about insecurity and look what we have here the king of wands that's exactly what the king of wands in reverse would do he's insecure so he would like um 
just immediately in something with somebody that was like too hot for them as he perceived because he was in that the king of wands upright is like he he's hot he knows he's hot he's attractive he knows what he he offers reverse he doesn't he's insecure plays these little ego games like egotistical games like um boasting flaunting so like you might be like oh well i need to have like um really nice stuff to something to brag about let's, let's just say a truck yeah i've got like a nice truck i got a good lift on it like i take care of it like you know you know and almost like being a dick to that person that's like like yeah you got to make sure that you like dust your shoes off like that's respectful but like the, the way it's delivered is like my stuff is better than you <laughs> you know that type of thing and it, it's because you, there's like this deep insecurity of like what if this person takes my felina away because they have all this stuff like they're they're cool they're mysterious they're dangerous they have you know a lot of money somehow like that type of stuff and, and that insecurity is like stayed with you lifetime after lifetime and it's time to finally release that <clears throat> how do they release this hmm? Hmm. lovers in reverse what do you mean oh So <laughs> see it as this, the shitty relationships you had this lifetime, you were operating out of that again. You chose someone that wasn't on your level, operating out of your ego, choosing someone out of insecurity, when instead it's time to heal that with that nine of wands here. See, it's time to crawl out of the shell, the darkness that you've been living in when it comes to this and quit choosing relationships you know you know this person isn't good for you that you know you're better than these people like not in a like you're too good for like someone that's gonna be like uh narcissistic to you selfish you know um use you for your physical stuff your money not let you because my voice is getting a little funky not let you speak <clears throat> <clears throat> not let you speak on man my voice is getting all weird there's something on that um not let you speak on uh like your needs and stuff like that you deserve better than that you know i'm seeing it as like um you may have gotten like hey you know i'd really like if you could <laughs> show up to events for me like my work events that we have to do like i i'd really like somebody there for me and they're like you asked too much you asked too much for me you're, you're too needy. You're too this, you're too that. So like, you deserve better than that. And, and quit choosing this. Come out of this darkness that you've been living. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm burping. <laughs> Come out of this darkness that you've been living in. And in re regards to that and choosing these bad relationships. These, You know it's not good for you. You know it. But it's like this safety thing. And, you know, it's almost like you don't fully commit to this person. Yeah, and you have the desire to love and, like, be fully committed to somebody and, you know, have what you had in that past life where it was, like, good, promising, like, both of you were on the same page. Um, <clears throat> but you just, you were avoiding trying to take, do that again. And, you know, it's just being real with yourself and healing from that and being like, ah, yeah, so I had something to do with this also. I was too good-hearted for this person, but I chose it because it, it, I subconsciously knew that. I subconsciously knew it was going to end. <clears throat> All right, so any, what's Oracle can we get for this? And I'll end it. So definitely learning to speak, like, you deserve somebody that you can you know, voice your needs, voice, you know, speak, stick up for yourself with, because I'm getting a lot of that throat stuff, which is super annoying, but, <clears throat> or maybe that's like you saying it to yourself, like, oh, I did agree to this, I did, you know, 
<laughs> what, what, what do they got? What do they got for us, please? Okay. Okay. There we go. Haha. <laughs> This was at the bottom of the deck, and I didn't say anything because I was like, hmm, okay, like, we'll we'll see what, um, very interesting. So that one wanted to come out. <clears throat> okay. Clear the air. Distant thunder. That's going back to speaking your truth. Um... And I'm seeing that with people and yourself. You need to speak your truth with, you know, being like, I, where have I agreed to just shitty relationships? And how, how have I chose it? And what caused my, what traumas and stuff like that has caused my ego to do this? And, you know, why did I feel the need to feel safe? Um, to where I would sabotage, like, you know, to a point where it would be unsafe for me to feel safe. <clears throat> Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> I was just talking. I don't know. <laughs> um, vast vistas. Expand your horizons. This is taking chances and like catching yourself when you're in that like fear of like wanting to run from something that's good. Um, and pushing past that because that's like the ego keeping you safe. And being like, oh, we don't want, I don't want to lose Felina again, ever again. Um, you know, I'm using that as a, you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. I'm just saying Felina because of the song. But um, willingness to like expand your horizons. It's like trying new foods, trying, trying different things, trying something new, like putting yourself out there and staying neutral instead of being like, you know, it's good to be like, okay, what is this person on? What are they about? That type of thing. It's good to inquire and investigate but um not like run away and like make up red flags to like keep yourself safe <clears throat> or you know make these like weird excuses like oh i need to um i really need to focus on my career right now and like they're just gonna get in the way you know i need um they're they're probably just gonna steal my money and using me for my like that type of thing and interestingly because of that past life if you are in that like oh i need to focus on my coin only that's another trauma because you're trying to be that person the mysterious rich um drifter that came and took your person because that's like a oh well they were cooler than me they they took my person and so I need to be that person again, you know, or like to get love and attract, like attract the right partner. I need to be fully in that energy. Um, so that's also like a, they, they embedded that insecurity within you as well. <clears throat> and take it how it resonates. This could be like somebody you're dealing with as well, but we've all like, it's, we've all been a different archetype in different, um, lifetimes. So just stay open to that. I'm curious. Uh, we have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Bitch, what I say? Try different things. Try, expand your horizons. And stay like, new, like be open to just like magic happening. You're, you paid up your karmic debt this life. So it's time to like go out and like really see what life's about. Because you don't have to like, you're not repeating that cycle. You're not dying before you paid up like karmically. So you have like you get to explore and experience a whole threshold of crazy shit that you never got to and good things, good things. So it's, be excited about that because you paid up your karmic debt. You're like getting all good things now. As long as you don't fall back into your old karmic habits of playing games with people and shit, lying to them, you know, being like, oh, well, I really need to focus on my career right now. And you know, they're good for you. It's a good person. Like. <laughs> they're on your level you know that type of stuff like not playing the game but i'm also seeing that as like <clears throat> if you are in a relationship now or you're starting to whatever um making sure that you're not keeping that distance so and you um so you don't get hurt again like you did when you lost felina 
Um, so there's like, you know, you could be quote unquote happily married, but you've kept this like distance and like, you know, you need to stay three inches away at least. We can't intertwine with each other. We can't be, and I'm not saying like you have to like be like that all the time, but there's like a deep vulnerability of like showing every single part of yourself to this person. Like you could be married for like, I don't know, 20 years or something. And you're still like keeping some sort of like emotional distance to keep safe. So like, you're like, well, if this person like decides to leave, like, you know, I'm, I'm good. Like, <laughs> it's like something, even though you're married, it, there's like still like this like distance. <clears throat> Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Yeah, and this was all part of it. Like, all the shit that happened in the past, that's just, like, part of it. And, yeah, you want to keep yourself safe. But, um, knowing this now, you know, if, if this resonated for you, that's going to help you significantly because you're like, oh, okay, this is what happened. That's why I feel this, like, almost, like, some of it could be, like, so extreme that it feels like death. You know, like, the fear of death kind of thing, like... Like, you might die if you commit to get in, you know, intertwined and close with somebody again because you're like, I don't want to lose that. That's why, because there was like an actual death involved in a past life to where <coughs> it, you know, you never got to like recover from that because it just happened so quickly and it ended so quickly as well. Um, hmm, one more. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> we have the world at the bottom of this deck. You know, you have the world in your hands. You can experience whatever you want. You can you can do, have whatever you want now. Like, you cleared so much karma that the big stuff, um, that you you paid up. You're, you're paid up. You're on the right path. You're choosing to live in your purpose. You're looking for that. You're You're doing all of this the right way. This lifetime, you know, like, it, it, what the, what does it say? God, let it be this time I get it right. Like, you're doing it right this time. <clears throat> so, you have, you can experience whatever you want. You just have to believe and undo, like, that trauma, that limiting belief, that fear, the insecurities, that type of stuff that's, like, kept you, um from experiencing what you truly deserve what's the advice here yeah this is a good place to like see where you're imbalanced um, you might be balanced in a lot of places, but like when it comes to like insecurity about money, how you look, how you dress, that type of thing, there's something to be uh, looked at there. Yeah, and it's time to undo that. Like, because <clears throat> I saw the Six of Cups when I split the deck there. And we have the Journey card again. Angel, oh my God, bitch. I split the deck and... <laughs> so balance 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 observe and see where you're you haven't been oh my god bitch and look there's a freaking pyramids on the back of that so knowing this and recognizing that is being like okay that was a past life thing i need to come through on this and just acknowledging it is probably really all you need to do obviously staying on top of your ego and your mind and you're watching your thoughts when it comes to like stepping forward and experiencing these new things with the sun card like that's fun that's light that's joy that's everything you deserve and observe since we do have the justice in reverse the sun upright and the ace of wands in reverse make sure that you know this imbalance isn't stopping you from getting joy like it's I'm getting that that imbalance and that like worry and that fear like right before you're about to like step up and step into somebody new or <clears throat> you know really get vulnerable like say you're with you've been married for 20 years or whatever like really getting vulnerable with that person something stops you and you like lose the motivation the fire to do it because <clears throat> you get in your head and you let that past trauma stop you from being like truly open and like 
connected with them. Or it could just be like you being real and be like, I'm not happy in this relationship. I need somebody else. Like, you know, that type of thing. It's like something stopping you from getting into balance and chasing this happiness. Like actually finding it, what you actually deserve. You know, happiness is always within, but I'm just saying like, you have to find that first and within yourself. And that's like working on your insecurities and stuff like that. Shining a light on that with that sun card. But also, you know, just what is it? Um, chase your bliss, you know, chase your bliss, man. Like what lights you up? And it may not be the relationship you're in now, or, you know, something's missing because you're both operating out of, um, this, uh, trauma. Like it may have happened to this person as well. Like they're very cold and distant because they're both, you're both operating out of that. Like, well, I don't want to get hurt because in a past life, like somebody died, somebody was pulled from me. And so there's never that deep intertwined, like full raw intimacy. And we did have the Knight of Cups that came out. <clears throat> and so I'm just seeing that as like, follow your bliss. Keep that like youthful, um, like the Knight of Cups is like an offer a proposal uh, a romantic gesture so like don't like maybe that's coming back into like you know who am I romantically who how am I like that what how do I show romance how do I like start questioning that and th there may be some like changes that you'd be surprised be like how could I see myself being romantic how could I like questioning that and like getting more into like okay because you're a different person now you're a brand new bitch like you've undone a lot of shit like you've done a lot of anxiety and around love and just intimacy and that type of thing because we have the angel of love there but you've you've undone a lot of that stuff and yeah we have the healer of ages there so you've healed a lot of that you've done undone a lot of trauma all of that shit uh now it's time to kind of see who you are now like explore how do I express romance? How do I express this? Because you're brand new, like beyond any past life. Like you're a whole new bitch. <laughs> so it's time to explore and like see with that journey, enjoy the journey, get excited. And with this vast vistas also, expand your horizons. That's just like expressing like seeing how you are in a room in a relationship now because you're a whole new person you undid so much you paid all your karmic debt off you're free you're a free agent now you are free to live your life and live your purpose and that means you're a whole new person you're not doing romantic gestures out of fear out of anxiety any of that stuff anymore it's time to look at that and kind of get like have fun with it be like oh how would i like show romance now since i am different and maybe that's not something you've looked at before. And that just and that could even be like romancing yourself and how you romanticize life. You're a brand new bitch. Like you've undone all of this. So it's time to like romanticize life, feel life and explore it and express it and be it in such a way that's like you've never done before. At least that you know of. And I don't know, just have fun with it. But, you know, leave comments and... I'm very curious, you know, how like you plan on being romantic, like what, how you feel like, uh, I'm trying to, I can't, I'm feeling the feeling, but I can't get the words out. It's like, how would you express romance now that you're a different person? And I'm, I'm curious. I want to hear about it. So I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your donations, um, comments, likes, subscribes, sharing. Thank you all so much for that. And I love you so much. Bye, babes.